Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long This is F-Zero GX on the Nintendo GameCube, released by Nintendo in 2003, with input from Sega, but it was developed by Amusement Vision, because there's an arcade machine also released at the same time called F-Zero GX, which was entirely made by Sega and used hardware that was an act actually a collaboration between Namco and Sega. And what was absolutely mind-blowing about this was not just the fact that Sega were, you know, allowed to make, uh, you know, a Nintendo IP, but the arcade machine and the GameCube game had, like, crossover in the sense that you could take your memory card, your GameCube memory card, this is so cool, um, as are the visuals right now, take your memory card to the arcade cabinet, access your vehicles and your upgrades and stuff like that. Apparently. I don't know, I never saw an IK machine. I picked this up very recently for a tenner from a charity shop, which, and it's the original version, not the greatest hits, which I believe is a good price, even though a tad expensive for a charity shop, because it goes for a lot more than that. Because I had this uh, back on my original GameCube, and like some stupid Muppet, I sold it. I think I was frustrated with it at the time, and obviously it wasn't as worth as much then, because Make no mistake about it, while it's probably the best looking, yet yeah, seriously, best looking game on the GameCube, it's also one of the hardest and most frustrating. And that's not just because I'm crap at it and I haven't played it in years, so don't expect much. I just want to show off how shiny and tasty and delicious it is to watch, but lots of people generally consider this to be an absolutely balls horrifically hard game. Right, so let's get into it. But the last entry into the F-Zero franchise. I mean, w when is Nintendo going to get on that? Although my understanding, but again, I could be wrong, so don't, you know, or do correct me, I should say, is the F-Zero franchise is not anywhere, well, no, well, not anywhere near as popular in Japan as it is in the West. But then that's never really stopped um, Nintendo before, has it? And I'm pretty sure there probably will be one on the Switch. And if there is, maybe I'll buy a Switch. Right, Grand Prix vs. Battle Time Attack, Replay Story, Practice, Customize, Options. Well, let me turn the bloody music off. Pilot Profiles, Practice. Now, we're just going to go straight into um, Grand Prix. But I'm going to suck, novice, like it makes a difference. F0, so uh, Ruby Cup, Sapphire Cup, Emerald Cup. I see what you did there, they're all gems. Yeah, call me a pussy. Going with that, going with Blue Falcon, Captain Falcon. Right. Now, apparently you could tune your car here. Or do I not, because I'm a novice? I don't know, I had a quick pop at practice and then realised I still can't play it. Skip, skip, skip to the end. Right, so, Mute City. Right, well, it's Grand Prix, so I can only go with Mute City. I'll take that. It's analog. Uh, I didn't have a pop it. There you go. This is where you can, like, customise it, but I'm going to leave the uh, the line where it is there. But should have changed it so the shoulder buttons are accelerate, because when you use A as accelerate, then having to go up to uh, Y to hit your boost means you have to, like, use an, uh, an extra, because I've got 11 fingers, a different finger, so you don't take your finger off to accelerate. But then you probably can change it to uh, shoulder buttons, and never mind, I'll shut up now. There we go. Captain Falcon, work on your wardrobe, you look like a numpty. There we go. Now, it looks lovely. It looks absolutely lovely. I just realised I didn't reset my console and I'm running this with 50 hertz. No reason other than I click the wrong highlighted thingy, because you get a choice, as you do in most games back then. Right, all the opponents down the left side, score, stuff like that, top right, and your track is bottom left. Right, it is quick. It is very quick. And it looks shiny and fantastic. And I'm really not going to be able to talk and play this at the same time. Hit the boost, hit the boost. Right, so you accelerate break, and then you've got a turbo mode, but you've obviously got to collect those, I guess? I don't know. Like I said, I had a quick pop on um, practice just to work out the controls. I do know back in the day I had video glasses, not to be confused with VR, because they're not. Bought them off um, eBay. I had video glasses, and you could stick them in the back of 
the then consoles, GameCube, uh, PlayStation 2, stuff like that. But, oh yeah, if you listen to the music in the background, you've got remixes, amazing remixes of the original stuff. Oh, hello. But yeah, I tried playing this with video glasses once or twice, and basically, I thought I was either going to go back in time or just throw up on the inside of it. It was too much. It's too much like this. It looks phenomenal. Even, you know, against today's stuff, even stuff that's in HD, this looks phenomenal. I don't know what that beeping noise is. What does that mean? What do you do, Basil? But what does it all mean? I don't like the sound of it. I just do what you do with a warning light in your car, just stick a piece of tape over it. What was that then? I haven't read the instructions, I probably sort of. Oh, I'm retired. Get too old for this shit. See what I did there? Retry settings, quit. Uh, no, let's try a retry. Like I said, I didn't read the instructions, so I don't know why I'm losing a thing. Do I have to keep. Oh, um. Obviously, do you have to heal yourself like you do in the original game, but where will those bits be? I don't see them doing it. Yay! This looks so nice. I'm going to be a broken record. But it does. Yoink. Oh, come on. Why don't you just make an HD version of this? Actually, if you make an HD version of this and release it on the Switch, I won't buy it. a Switch for it. Because I want a whole new game. Right, so are the other things not just speed bursts? They are uh, not just amphetamines. They um like health or something? Oh shies and balls. That music is so nice. This one you think, yeah, could improve the original. They improved the original. Right, is that Yes. There we go. Something's never changed. I would love to play this in the arcade. I was never good enough back in the day to take my arcade, uh, my arcade, my memory stick in, but still would have loved to have played it in the arcade. Look at that! I think I'm gonna be sick. With awesomeness. Oh, I missed that. Yoink! Whoa! Obviously the way I'm capturing it is not doing it any justice. Look at that. Ooh! Holy... Muppet balls. Yoink! Oh, I'm scared. Hold me. How good does this look? I say it a lot. I say it a lot. But this, I haven't played it in years. This is just mind blowing how good this looks. Right, we on the next track. Right. One more race. One more race. The worst that could happen. Continue without like, saving. Yeah, because my memory card's full. Should just buy a bigger one. Who's it just gonna waste stick? Casino Palace. Alright, we'll go with that. Now I know what I've gotta do. Captain Falcon, you still dress like a numpty. Oh look at that. Oh look at that! Get some of that pretty in your face. Can I skip that? Wow. You sure is pretty boy. It's almost too much to take in. I guess that was kind of their intention. Oh. It's a very Tom Jones thing going on with that music. Which well, kind of makes sense because it's a casino. Yoink! Oh, there we go, no, back on. You ran me off. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. See, that's the problem later on, I do remember with certain tracks, which is, there's so much to take in, and the way the road dips and bends and stuff like that, um, you can't really see what's directly in front of you, and it becomes pure memorization. I'm not saying that, you know, that's a bad thing, but I'm saying it really doesn't want to make things easy for you. Yoink! Yoink! <gasps> putty, putty, putty! It really is putty, putty, putty. Yoink, yoink! Oh, I need, I need to like fix my shit and stuff. Oh, balls! 
Well, I'm going to call it quits there. F-Zero GX on the Nintendo GameCube. I'm very happy I reacquired this. I'm going to sink a lot of my life into it and see if I can just be better than I was back in the day. Because it's hard. As always, I'd love to know what you think, especially, especially on this. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.